seven in my pocket I am a healing prophet Sees a promise in my garden I need to have a soft and sexual experience all right, guys, so there are numerous videos on YouTube that talk about and show you guys how to break and shake your grain jars when you are generating grain spun. And while some of those videos are helpful, I would like to explain the process of breaking, shaking, and redistributing your myceliated grain in a way that I would like a 5 a.m. mycologist to understand it. We are going to be breaking our jars up and I went out and I purchased this cool time-lapse camera so that we can capture our mycelium in action. But here's what you need to know. Breaking, shaking, and redistributing our colonized grains throughout our jar is going to lead to faster colonization. And the reason for this is that the mycelium that has already grown out thus far on our grains have produced digestive enzymes that are specific to breaking down this grain. And so when you go to redistribute those colonized grains and they come into contact with uncolonized grains, those enzymes are released leading to faster colonization rates and ultimately to fully colonize grain jars. You also want to break, shake, and redistribute the colonized grain in our grain jars because while our mycelium has grown out nice and healthy, the uncolonized grain in our grain jars represents a liability because there are a lot of bacterial colonies and mold spores that would love to call this place home. So you BSR, so that your mycelium can maintain a competitive advantage. And the last point that I would like to make is that you want to avoid waiting to break, shake, and redistribute the colonized grain inside of your jars when it has consumed up to 90% of your grain. And the reason for that is because when you break, shake, and distribute these jars at 90%, you could be weakening your mycelium, and if your plan is to perform grain-to-grain -grain transfers with these masters, you could be weakening future grain generations. All right, so what I like to do when I'm breaking up my jars is turn my jars upside down like this and just lightly tap the jar as I'm turning it 360 degrees. Just like that. Break all that myceliated grain up. And after I've gotten it all broken up, continue to rotate it, but shake it. Shake up your jar. Just like that. There may still be large pieces of colonized grain in your jar, but you wanna break that up too. And what I like to do as I'm rotating and shaking is try to get my grain moving in a circle. And I shake my jars up very well. Right? There we go.
All right, so now that we have our jars all broken up, let's go ahead and put our time-lapse camera to use to capture the mycelium in action. guys so now our jars of grain are fully colonized and i just wanted to leave you guys with a few things to keep in mind about what you have now our mycelium has successfully broken down and absorbed all of the nutrition that was once present in the millet grain that we use making our mycelium that much more robust now it is ready to encounter any and everything that you throw its way that could be inside of a bulk substrate or anything like that. But what you don't want to do is allow your grains to sit for too long. Typically within one to seven days, I'm breaking my jars up and I'm inoculating bulk substrates with them. This is one of the things that I see early cultivators get wrong all the time they allow their fully colonized, healthy, vigorous mycelium to sit for way too long when your mycelium is ready for more novel substrates. And trust me, things like trichoderma or bacterial colonies is no match for healthy, vigorous, young mycelium. All right, so guys, that was my video on breaking, shaking, and redistributing your colonized grain. I hope you guys learn a ton from that. And guys, I have 10 years worth of experiences that I would like to get out. I know that the information can be a little dense at times, but this is my honest attempt to try to trim some of the fat that comes with listening to people talking about mycology and the process of growing mushrooms. I'm gonna make it very simple for you guys. I want to see more of you guys growing in bulk and not just in bags or in trays or shoe boxes or anything like that. I want to see you guys with full flush monotubs. And that is the reason why I started this YouTube channel. 5 a.m., baby.